So I'm really excited right now and they just released something from Toy Fair Germany that's really exciting and this is from Lego Star Wars. Now unfortunately I cannot show you the image here because I have had past copyright issues with Lego in the past. Like a year ago I had this issue with Lego so I'm not going to risk it at all here but there will be a link in the description to this image. And for Lego Star Wars, under the Rogue One banner, or rather above it, is a picture of Slave One, Boba Fett's iconic ship. So what does this mean exactly? Now, it's not confirmation that Boba Fett will be in Rogue One, but this has led me to believe that he could end up showing up in Rogue One. And with supposedly the recent Boba Fett solo anthology film cancelled, it would make complete sense that they would integrate Boba into the Rogue One story. I actually had an entire video planned about Boba Fett being in Rogue One, but now since this has come out, I figured I would share a lot of the details I had planned to talk about with you in this video right now. So for Rogue One, it is said that they will be using bounty hunters to help reacquire the stolen Death Star plans. Now, we know Boba Fett is a bounty hunter that was utilized by the Empire before, and we know this by Empire Strikes Back, where Vader and Boba Fett have seemed to have had some direct interaction before the events of Empire. He even tells Boba no disintegration, which makes me believe that we could see Boba Fett disintegrating someone in this new movie. I think that could be pretty cool if it's not a beloved character that we will, of course, form an attachment to in Rogue One. But with this showing up here as the banner, the Slave One ship, like I said, it's not confirmation. It appears as if it is the Slave One ship. We don't really know of any other ship that's really similar to this. So if anything, I would be willing to bet that this is in fact the Slave One ship. But this is not real confirmation that Boba Fett will be in the movie. It's just a really, really big hint. And I hope that Disney isn't kicking themselves right now. That They kind of have let it leak that Boba Fett is going to appear in Rogue One because recently we got news that Darth Vader would have a major role in Rogue One and it makes sense now that Boba Fett would as well. In fact, it's quite brilliant for Rogue One. They're wanting to tell a new story but bringing us really classic villains. It doesn't seem like we'll have very many classic heroes showing up in Rogue One, but with Vader confirmed to have a major role in Rogue One and now with this possibly Boba Fett showing up in another supporting villain role, that's really huge and that's going to be big for a lot of fans because Boba Fett is a character that hasn't been explored a lot in canon and he's really a fan favorite for a lot of reasons, mostly because of his cool design and a lot of the stories that have been told in the EU. Basically what it boils down to that if I were Disney and if I had to craft a Rogue One film and have a film rather set in that time period and I wanted to make that the most financially viable film as possible, I would sure integrate a lot of classic characters into that film including Boba Fett and Darth Vader now because those are two characters that are really classic characters and also characters that work in the timeline. Basically what I'm trying to get out is that I do believe that Boba Fett will have some type of role in Rogue One, although this is not confirmation. I would expect maybe seeing Boba Fett in the new trailer because that's something that they're really going to want to push with the marketing in this film. It being something a little bit different that a lot of Star Wars fans aren't really used to as far as fans of the films go. We're going back a little ways again and exploring a different part of the universe. So they really want to show us those new elements of the universe with giving us a lot of familiar characters and a lot of familiar imagery as well. With, of course, Slave One here being a perfect example of using Slave One as the image they want to sell their Lego for or the Legos for, which I'm really, really excited about. Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you guys think about Boba Fett? being in Rogue One. Do you take this as a confirmation of Boba Fett appearing in Rogue One and having a villain role or do you think it's being looked into with too much credit? Do you think it's just a little Lego thing? Do you think they're just releasing a Slave One with Rogue One because it's in that same time period? What do you guys think? May the Force be with you and have a great day.